Wow, that is nice and bright lit. Now it matches my other uh, rainbow colored keyboards. Anyways, guys, hey, it's Sterling W. We're going to go ahead and do a full review and unboxing of this um, RII Multimedia Bluetooth keyboard with rainbow backlit. This is the K09 model, and it's a very simple keyboard. It's a nice uh, layout of a keyboard as well as it's pretty long, full keys and arrows arrows and stuff but we'll go ahead and do an unboxing now now we'll go over like how long it lasts for the past week as well as other fun stuff i found out about this ri keyboard so it's pretty neat let's go ahead and open this thing up it does come with um inside a carry bag i wouldn't say that's a case it's more like a bag and there's also a usb micro uh, charger cable so Pretty cool. We'll go ahead and charge it up a little later. But at the same time, yeah, I've been using this for over a week and this is just a unboxing video of it. So the mesh case is just basically that. This is a mesh bag. And to be honest, it's not gonna really protect it against much, but it's good if you're bringing this along to carry it with you. So why did I buy this? I've actually bought this for my Samsung Note 20. I wanted something that's Bluetooth that I could bring around and type on a full size, well, semi full size keyboard. So I could take notes at class or when I'm going back to school or basically on my uh, Samsung Note 20. This is a Bluetooth keyboard, so you can actually use it with iOS devices as well as Android and Windows devices as long as you have a Bluetooth adapter. Now, this thing didn't come with a Bluetooth adapter. As you can see, it does come with a manual, the keyboard, and that cable. So overall, it's been pretty cool. Like I said, you know, you could, all you need to do is charge it. There is a you know LED indicator for the charge as well as other fun stuff. The Bluetooth installation is pretty fast. You just hit the uh, function key and the, and the C button or C key, and you can pair it up pretty quickly. I had no problems pairing it up with my Windows box as well as my Samsung Note 20, so it's been pretty cool. Uh, overall, it's pretty, you know, very useful, but that's, you know, you guys, you know, look at this video again, if you want to take a look at those instructions. This micro USB thing, yeah, I guess, you know, it's pretty standard. I mean, it's not that big of a deal that to charge a micro USB. I noticed that I charge it, it took about a few, um, it was very, very pretty much charged, it was like 60% charge. So I left it charging overnight, but it only took another, what, 30 minutes or less to charge uh, using USB. And there's a power switch on top. As you can see, once you turn it on, it has lights. You can actually turn off the lights with that big light bulb key in the center. So to save energy, you could either use it with light or without light. It really doesn't matter. It uses more energy, of course, with the light, of course. As you can see on the C key, there is a pairing button. So you hold down the function and hit the C and that will you know, basically pair it with whatever you're pairing with. Um, all the function keys are up there as well. The C's, keys are nice and nicely spaced and they, they click very well, which I do like. So trying it out with um, over the past week, I've been really liking it to to uh, bring this with me with my uh, cell phone, my Samsung Note 20, and it's been pretty cool. The only thing I didn't really like about it, well, actually, I do like the fact that it's um, is very lightweight. It's very, very cool, as well as it has those rubber uh, feet that keeps it from moving around, which is really nice. Um, rainbow color keys, it doesn't change color other than rainbow, so all you have is rainbow. And I like the fact that it has arrow keys that are separate and discrete. So that's pretty cool. It does flex a little and the plastic, I really wish it was a little bit more, um, not as flexy, but it works and it works pretty well. Now compared to the RII R18, this actually has a trackpad and, you know, smaller keys, but it's spaced pretty well. And, you know, it isn't Bluetooth. But, you know, it works for, like, other devices that comes with a dongle and stuff. And it works with Windows. I'll do a comparison of that later. But let's compare the backlit keyboard. So let's, you know, compare it to my Flag Power backlit keyboard. It is super bright because, it, you know, it basically the light goes right through it, which is nice. And you really can't miss the letters <laughs> because the keys are pretty well spaced. Unlike the R18, uh, where you only have three colors, it's rainbow color for this one, but there's no way to change the colors like I said before. Overall, it's a great keyboard and it has really good value, especially if you want something that's you know that's wireless, Bluetooth, and could work with iOS, Windows, as well as Android. So this is pretty neat in terms of what you're using it for, especially if you need to you know work in a dark environment. So you can actually see things and whether it's um you know if you want to type on a much larger keyboard than the small compact ones. So anyways, guys, this is Sterling Debra. I hope this review was helpful to you, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.